Good. Yep. Right, let's go. Nice. Welcome to South Africa. Um, I know you've been before. Um, what's it like being back? And just tell us about uh, this tournament and uh, your first match. Well, it's great to be back. Uh, I love this country, especially this week's weather. I mean, uh, the sun shines and it's very cold at home. And uh, I'm happy to be here. And uh, your match today? My match went really well. I went in with a lot of confidence because practice went well and it all it all went well. So actually I won six love, six love. So that's a really good start of the tournament. Okay, well, you rank number four in the world. You're number two at this tournament. It's a big tournament. It's the first time South Africa has ever hosted a Super Series. Um, you know, just tell us about your year so far and uh, the importance of this tournament in your schedule. Uh, my year so far has been good, actually. I played four tournaments till now. I reached two semi-finals at two big tournaments in uh, Australia. And last month I played in the United States and I won one of the tournaments and the other one I was runner-up. So some really good results and I hope to improve that and continue that over here to, by winning the tournament. So, yeah. is, is there any reason why you didn't come for the tournament before this one? Yes, because I played in the United States and I wanted to have more time in between at home than just four or five days. Right, so your next uh, match against uh, Lucy. Have you played it before? Tell, her, tell us you know, a little bit about the history between the two of you. Um, obviously, it's going to be a semi-final, so it's a big one. Yeah, we played each other a couple of times and we beat each other. So I have no idea what's going to happen tomorrow. Of course, I know what my aim is. I want to win, but I know Lucy can beat me as well. So hopefully it's going to be a really good match on both sides. But of course, I hope to win. <laughs> yes. Um, and obviously second seed in the tournament, it's always a good thing to be seeded second. I mean, you expect it to get to the final, you, you have got Lucy, but you know, what, you, what, what, are your, 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 what are your hopes for this tournament taking into consideration uh, you've got uh, uh, the other players in the draw that you know about? Well, I've got very good hopes and I really want to win this tournament and I know I can do it, but I also know the other players can do it. But. Um, yeah, if I meet Keiji in final, I beat her the last time. If I meet Jiska, I beat her last time. And last time Lucy beat me. So actually a lot of things can happen. But I know it's going to be possible to win. And that's what I really want to do. Rank number four in the world. Are you happy with that ranking? Is there any big aims and objectives? Have you reached uh, what you believe is, 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 is a good potential in your career? Well, I'm happy with my ranking at the moment. And I don't have any goals of improving the ranking this year. I've got different goals beside that and uh, maybe next year I'm going to improve my ranking. Esther now retired out of the picture, obviously a dominating force in women's tennis. You come from the same country. Just give us a few thoughts about Esther, um, what she meant to all of you and now that she's gone, what what will happen with wheelchair tennis, uh, women's wheelchair tennis? Does it open up everything? I think uh, it opens up a lot. Like this tournament, now there are a lot of women who can actually win the tournament. We're with four players left and all four of us can win the tournament. And before it was when Esther was in the schedule, like, oh, she's on my side of the draw. Probably I won't reach the final or in case I reach the final, well, really small chance I can win the tournament. So it's more interesting. Um, but it's also sad because Esther is a really good player. And I think uh, that's a really good uh, you know, promotion for the sport to have someone like her and someone that can show off what wheelchair tennis can be, you know, what excellent tennis can be. And um, we don't have her level, so we need to improve. And by with we, I mean all the other wheelchair tennis players left. And uh, we're going to do that, of course. At least I'm going to do that. I uh, practice a lot. And Well, actually, I think it's sad that she retired, but I completely understand it. When I look at uh, the Netherlands as a, a, a wheelchair tennis playing nation, there's a lot of domination by some top players. What is the secret to success in the Netherlands to wheelchair tennis? I don't think there's just one secret like, okay, this is, I say it in five words and now you know the secret. I think Netherlands has been a, one of the leading countries since the start of wheelchair tennis. And well, my personal opinion is, if the level is already pretty high and you've got new talented players, they can practice with better players and there's a lot of knowledge about tennis. With the coaches, we got some good coaches and uh, well, it's easier to become a good player when you already know what your aim is and you have good examples. And besides that, we live in a really small country, so for us it's very easy to practice together. You know, if we all drive one hour and a half, 
we're in the center of the country, we can practice with each other. We don't have to take a plane to, you know, to practice with someone of good level. So I think that's a very big uh, thing as well that helps us. Yeah. Obviously for South Africa, KG is like a big star. You've played against her, you've seen her progress through the years. Give us your thoughts on KG. It's important to come from a player as respected as you are. Well, uh, KG is a good player. She can become a, even a better player. Well, I think every player can improve. So, of course, she, KG can improve. Um, I heard her say last week that she wants to become, uh, well, she wants to reach top four this year. Well, I'm ranked number four, so I really hope she's not going to kick me out of uh, top four. So I don't know if she will reach that, but I know for sure that she can improve her ranking and her game. And, well, I'm not a coach, so I have no idea about if people are really talented and what kind of progress they can make. Of course, I can only see that uh, she improves her game. I noticed that by playing against her. And, uh, well, I see her results. Like last week, she beat Jiska. I think that's a really good result. Last year, she beat Anique van Koot, the current number one. So that obviously proves that she's a good player. <coughs> it was interesting for me what you said. When Tiger Woods got injured and disappeared from the world rankings, which he dominated for so many years, mm -hmm. suddenly a whole pool of really talented players started coming through, including those that were behind him all the time. Do you think the same kind of thing can happen with Esther gone with, the, with the, say, number two to seven behind Esther now coming up through the rankings? Well, what, what I can say for myself, you know, it's... Uh, I always wanted to play the best, my best game. Even if I played against Esther or even if I knew that probably I wouldn't make it to the final, I wanted to improve myself. But I can imagine that for some players uh, it will help knowing that there's no unbeatable person anymore. Mm. Like if you take top eight of the world, we can all beat each other on a good day. So that's very interesting. And I think it can motivate players to become better and to improve the, yeah, the game and increase the amount of hours they practice. Yes. And then my second, you said you're working on different goals this year. Are they secret or can you share them? They're secret, but I can say they're like tactical goals and uh, things like that. And uh, so the world ranking not the is not fair. Is the ranking is not important. I mean, it's the year after Paralympics. Mm -hmm. Of course, for me, it's important to stay in top seven so I can play the Grand Slams. But it doesn't really matter if my ranking is three or four or five. You, before, when Esther still played, it was important because when you were ranked in top four, you knew you couldn't play against her before semi-finals. Mm. But now there's no unbeatable player anymore. Mm. Uh, the ranking doesn't really matter. And especially this year after Paralympics. Uh, the focus for, yeah, my, for myself, I have a different focus, different focus in my game, but also uh, I spent a little bit more time at home because I still study and I want to finish my bachelor this year. So I need some time for that. What do you study? I study psychology. Okay.